Do you even know how to work that thing? Yes. I'm ready when you are. So I made the video and it went viral. It infected a lot of people. Countless people have watched it. Nobody really knows how many. The main reason why it went viral basically had zero to do with people watching it and choosing to watch it through their own free will. It had everything to do with me doing viral affirmations and that's what did it. The good thing about the video is it's helped a lot of people have a worthwhile existence on this planet. More importantly, it got me a lot of attention. Just like Gandhi always said, be the change that will get you the most attention from the world. Initially, it was great. Like, I, I couldn't walk out of my front door without people swarming around me, wanting answers to their life riddles, wanting my autograph, wanting their picture taken with me. It was pretty invigorating, to be honest with you. After the thing came, I also stopped making videos right away. The formula for success is once you do something great, never do anything ever again, because the next thing you do might not be as great as the first thing you did. No, it's not based on fear at all. It's based on love. I love to not feel fear. I'll be honest with you, I did. Fame is hard to deal with. I cut out all people from my life. I stopped functioning. I stopped being social. Totally withdrew from people. My life started falling apart. I started drinking a lot of kombucha to cope with everything. I was drinking like four or five a day and maybe like 10 at night. Do you know how much alcohol is in that much kombucha? You're practically doing hard drugs at that point. Or as my preferred rationalization likes to call it, participating in a lot of shamanic journeys. It got bad. But I'm okay now. I'm 100% clean, mostly. You can't see it, but I put it there, can you? What was the hardest thing for me? Definitely the negative comments. Negative comments on YouTube are always accurate. When you put up a four or five minute video clip of yourself, that's everything about you. So when you look at those negative comments, they have a surgeon's precision of accuracy about who you are. And that was very hard for me to take. You have to understand something. My grandfather used to set me on his lap when I was a boy. And he'd say, JP, negative comments on YouTube are a window to your soul. He also taught me not to trust white people. And your grandfather had some issues. He's a wise man. Well, I didn't actually read them, I'm just telegraphic, telepathic. My intuitive read about what the negative comments were saying about me is hateful things like, ooh, JP, your hair is almost not perfect. A big part of my recovery I attribute to reading poetry. I was reading a lot of Rumi poetry and pretending to understand it. That was helpful. That made a difference. I also owe a lot to meditation. I would lock myself in my bedroom and meditate for probably an average of 12 or 13 hours a day. That was a very effective way to integrate myself back into my normal life and be more social. I don't understand the question. Well, those people are wrong. They're either projecting or they're just not evolved enough. It's like, does a monkey know what a gorilla is? No, a gorilla is a higher life form. It's a totally different frequency. It's just a mirage to the monkey. No, I'm open-minded. I can see that there's two possibilities here, them projecting or them not being evolved enough, both possibilities lead to the same conclusion, which is that they're wrong. Now that I'm doing barefoot meditation, yoga, qigong, tai chi, 
sitting on the beach looking at water for hours, acting like it makes a difference to me, drinking miscellaneous green juices and only eating animals I kill with my left arm. I mean, I'm back at it. Will I be making videos again? I'm not saying yes or no. Let's put it this way. I've been told the world needs my spiritual guidance. People need to see things my way. I did. Will there be more videos from me? If I were reading your horoscope, which I am, I would tell you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned.